Inside this downtown studio. Uh, that looks like a pretty good one. Artist John Leiba works away. I want to have a very playful nature. He's molding the hands that will greet visitors at the Bob Carey Bridge. You know, just his whole attitude and his personality is coming to life a little bit. Coming to life with each swipe of clay is Omar the Troll. Commissioned by Visit Omaha, the idea was sparked when the department learned people love the pedestrian bridge. We did independent research that asked out-of-town visitors, when you come to Omaha, where do you like to go? And of course, number one is the zoo, number two is the old market, and number three is the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge. So planning for Omar, the Omaha metro area river troll began. What better thing to add to a bridge than a troll, right? He's got quite the story. In fact, there's a whole book about Omar's adventures. The book was designed to really promote Omaha's major attractions and to educate children about all of the wonderful things Omaha has to offer. From Lords and Gardens to TD Ameritrade Ballpark, the Jocelyn Museum and the Old Market, Omar's book chronicles his adventures and his search for a home. We're trying to grab him at a little age and make them proud of the city. Omar is meant to be a part of the family and someone out of town visitors want to meet. Ultimately, our goal is that Omar becomes part of the folklore of the city. People will actually be able to hold his hand, put their arm around him, sit on his house with him. But as trolls tend to do, Omar is hiding here in Liba's studio for now, not ready to reveal himself to the public until later this year. He's waiting for the perfect time to make his permanent home under the Bob Carey Bridge. I want people to know that they have a friend who actually happens to live uh, under the Bob Carey Bridge. I just don't want it to be a sculpture that the city has. I want it to feel like, uh, yeah, I remember we visited that troll and his name was Omar. <laughs> Alexander Stone reporting there. Now the books are going to find a home at elementary schools in the metro. As for Omar himself, you'll likely see him under the bridge by September 5th. You'll be able to scan your QR code to see video of him in action, and there'll also be a Snapchat filter. Fine.